in this video, we're going to talk about the most generic watercolor palette that you can buy. This video is mainly for the beginners. So I'm going to talk about this watercolor palette that is the most generic and the most common and probably the most affordable that you can find on online or any art shop. So basically, this is quite small. As you can see, I can it fits in my hand. So when I started out my watercolor journey, I actually was gifted with one of these things, very similar. And you can buy one of these things for only $8 or even less. And it comes with these 12 half pan sizes. Each half pan would hold up to about 1.5 milliliters of paint. You can use the cover of this palette as a mixing area and another flip out right here for um, smaller mixes and then if you remove the tray of paints it actually reveals more area for mixing your paints so currently there's 10 pigments that i have here and what i have in the pans are actually the windsor in newton cotman student grade so this particular set of watercolors is actually quite good uh, for student grade and I can consider this as middle grade as as these behave closely more to the professional grade and most of the colors here are actually very transparent and permanent so if you add in the the cost of set of pigments which is roughly about $16 you're talking about a $24 or 1200 peso cost for a set like this so this is quite convenient for anyone who is starting to learn watercolor and it's also good for actually sketching out and it's quite convenient and small it can also fit in a medium or a small travel brush which fits exactly here or even a smaller brush like this regular brushes or bigger types of paint brushes cannot fit as you can see comparing this to a something that you can make like using this empty candy box like this this commercial palette actually has more mixing areas than this empty tin box which you can only use the cover as a mixing area which is not actually even painted white. There's actually a, a, th a thumb loop. So when you're painting outside and just holding this palette box, it's secure. It doesn't fall off easily. So what are the major cons for this type of palette? Well, it's made of metal and eventually, after some time of using it and exposing it with water, it's going to start to rust eventually. But then rusting is actually quite a common thing amongst um, metal boxes like this. For a size comparison, actually there is, of course, uh, a 24 set like this. And of course, the cover can be used as mixing areas. So in conclusion, uh, for beginners of watercolor and their start of their journey, this is actually uh, something that you can buy relatively quite affordable. And you can start with student grade paints or if you want, if you can afford it, get the professional grade and you can start practicing watercolor. It offers a lot of uh, areas for mixing your paints before you apply them onto paper not only 12 but probably 14 because there's enough space for actually seven of them per row therefore you can have a total of 14 pigments it's small enough and you have enough paint and something together with a small watercolor sketchbook like this with your palette with paints and of course uh, a few brushes and this is a very compact set for watercoloring on the go or uh, your daily carry so that whenever you feel like painting uh, you can do it anytime anywhere so what do you think about this watercolor palette and if uh, this video has given you value please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you can thank you very much for watching